My family consists of four people at the moment. Being only the two people at home that bring in a salary, I think it really helps. So a typical day for me is I get up in the morning at five. I have two guys that depend on me to get them to work. On my daily routine, I wake up at half past four, I bath, I make my lunch, I iron my clothes, I go take a taxi. My son relies on my monthly income, I have a son, yes. In the morning, I wake up in the morning at four o'clock. I got four children. I must prepare for my kids, I prepare for my kids. Then after that, I prepare myself and then I drive myself 40 minutes drive to, to, to work. I wake up at around four o'clock. I make sure that I have to do uh, the lunch box for my kids as I have kids. I have to work to walk from home to bus stop. So I have my mother and my brother, my little sister, and the children of my bigger sister and my child. This job is risky because we've constantly been warned safety first, safety first. If I had to meet an accident at work, it would be very disappointing that I wouldn't be able to do what I love to do every day. As a woman, I've faced a lot of challenges. Firstly, we don't have changing rooms. Toilets are not really clean, tidy sometimes. And working with men is very uncomfortable at times because they look at parts they shouldn't be looking at. Yes, I am treated differently. <laughs> if I, I was not able to work, uh, my family will suffer because my family right now, they, they depend on me. Because I can't deny it, it's happening. It's a real thing that is happening in my industry. So bending over becomes a struggle because I have to make sure my shirt is tucked in my pants and I have to make sure that my, I'm covered up because we're self-conscious. My previous safety way, I used to wear men's. You know, whenever I bend, I have to pull them up again and see if no one's looking at my bum and all of that. The, 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 the top is short. So when I bend myself, then my back becomes open. So I used to pull it up and up and then, so it's actually uncomfortable. But the one that I'm wearing now, it's the cut is it's perfect for a woman. It's sharp, it's perfect, this one. I'm down in the mine for about four hours. When I'm down there and want to use the toilet, the boiler uh, works with and I have to take it out, the whole thing out. Sometimes I don't, I don't go to urinate. They work where they are lighter. So when I've got some periods, maybe I get uh, I menstruate on myself, on the kidney. Then I can't work while uh, I have something at the back. So I don't feel like comfortable being creative, making stuff, fixing stuff. I've always been exposed to working with my hands, helping around the house, being the handyman because I'm the my dad's son, I guess. I was about to do grade 10. Then I found out that the medical class was full, so I had to take the technical one. So that's how I ended up taking electrical engineering. Then I ended up falling in love with it. That's what I was dreaming to uh, do. I always wanted to be a millwright. When I was growing up, I was, I, was a, I was a girl who liked toys of boys. I'm Kathleen. I am Apprentice Mechanical Fitter. My name is Roberta. I'm Norbo. Okay, I'm a future electrical engineer. I'm an apprentice at this moment. My name is Tabudi Elizabeth Modiwa. I'm a millwright artisan in mining industries. My name is Norma Sesa. I'm a fitter and a serious person when it comes to safety.